Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the entire full interface of Guild Wars 2. Starting from the top left we have your hints, it's pretty much your like um, in-game tutorials and whatnot. It's highly recommended that you uh, look at them if you are a brand new player, um, especially I'm pretty sure everyone, you know, when starting out the game is brand new to the game, even though if you played the beta, some things might, might have been, you know, changed and whatnot. So in this categories, they have uh, combat, um, events, tasks, item equipment, math, movement, cameras, PvP, skills and traits, social, um, story, uh, world versus world, and other. You know, if uh, just uh, go through the entire thing, um, I think you get an achievement of some sort if you uh, if you complete everything, have everything checked off. Um, but I got all the uh, the progression so far just by playing the game and not you know going to the hints but they are pretty helpful to look over um, when you first start out next up we have the uh, character screen here you can find your inventory well the equipments that you can equip will show up on your character screen you know all the gems all the rooms and stuff will show up on uh, all your character screen. On the specific character screen you can show the uh, underwater set you have for the weapons and as well as the uh, your main primary weapons uh, on one and secondary weapons on two. Um, as far as you, they also show your attributes, your um, stats and everything else. Here we have the all your skills, weapon skills and traits this is your, your pretty much your um, your menu for that. Um, weapon skills are determined um, are the one through five. Uh, the skills that you know switches d depending on what weapons you use. Um, your skill slots, obviously the uh, your those are your utility. There are six to ten. Um, those five, and then yeah. Traits you get starting from level ten, I believe. Yeah, level ten. Uh, start getting traits, and uh, yeah, all the screen tells you what the traits does, and uh, as you advance on, and what to do and stuff like that. Um, here we have you know your story um, from beginning of the quest and uh, until your current you know all it's the uh, the main storyline, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, here we have your you know crafting and uh, what for your crafting, what did you pick and stuff like that. Craft everything here. Um, you, yeah, you think, yeah, you don't have to go to your crafting. You just craft it. Um, some, some you do though. Here you have your achievements, um, your daily achievements, uh, monthly and whatnot. Um, so it's your achievement tab. Let's begin. Next up, we have the social or contact section. Um, here you can find your friends or search for another player um, or even looking for group um, UI. So, if someone wants needs to help on a quest or instance, it could uh, search, search for you or you can search for them. You can also add players to the block list, so it's pretty much ignore. So you don't get any messages from them, something like that. Next up, we have the um, pretty much the marketplace. Um, the screen is you know where you buy your gems and you know trade in gems and whatnot. Actually, the next tab will be trade in gems. This is where you buy items with gems. Most of them are you know cos just cosmetics and stuff like that. You got sunglasses, boxing gloves. <laughs> it's just a uh, funny little stuff that people waste their money on, uh, which, I don't know, maybe they think they're, you know, supporting the company and whatnot. Here you have your consumables, um, you know, race, you have, just have things like uh, increased EXP gain, karma gain, um, stuff like that. Also, Mystic Key is the one that you use to uh, open the boxes and whatnot. Here you have other stuff you can, you know, um, all other stuff. And I haven't seen. Yeah, no, there's supposed to be like a um, world transfer in here as well, or somewhere. Um, 
but you, know, you can see all that. Next one's upgrades. This is where you buy your bag slots and uh, bank expansions. Oh, this is where all the boosts you get. The EXP boosts, glory boosts, crafting boosts, and all that. It's per hour. It's consumable. It doesn't last forever, so you spend uh, real money for this to buy the gems. Or you can, you know, trade in the uh, the gold for the gems as well. Um, that's the next tab. So, I mean... Pretty much, you. I wouldn't call this a like a pay-to-win game, but you do spend money on some of the stuff, and this is where you um, trade in gold for gems or the gems for gold. So to me, if you buy gems and trade them in for gold, that's like you, you're gonna use the gold to buy gear, and that's kind of pay-to-play. That's you know, pay to win, stuff like that. Not pay to play. Pay to win, I don't know. I don't know if how that works yet, but hopefully it's not. Here you have your actual like auction house trading post. The way this works is um if when you try to list an item, I'll show it later actually. Well, this is how you search for an item. Uh, you know, all your categories and you have your subs category and then rarity and then show what's available only because pretty much the item system in Guild Wars that um, everything is the same you can look you know because like um, the entire everyone on the entire server have like the same so let's say for that one it has like a hundred and thirty or that, that one right there the Brazil, Brazilian stuff it has like 330 uh, amount so 330 people have that um, specific item, so it's, it's kind of weird. So pretty much they have the same item. Uh, all the stats are the same as well. So that's uh, how the item works in this game. Also, when you try to sell on uh, Guild Wars and we via this interface, it will list. You can either sell it to the highest buyer, like that, or you can list it for the lowest price. So there's like you could undercut people as well. Um, you know, obviously, and then people are going to start selling at the lowest price you know so it's uh it's, i think it's a good system it's a quick system so you don't have to spend the entire time just to, you know um browsing through or even trying to sell everything and you could also sell it anywhere in the world um but you have to be at the trade post to pick up money or um you know uh, uh items that you bought um so yeah, this is this is where you're supposed to take it all. You might you have to be at the trading post to to take all that, the gold and um, your items. Next up, we have the guild tab. Um, obviously, this is where your guild is. Uh, I'm gonna create a guild in a sec. Takes one. Silver to create a guild, and then guild tag. You name it. You know whatever you want. Once you create a guild, everything else appears. You can change your emblem, stuff like that as well. It's a really neat interface. Really easy to use. Um, you can add your own uh, roster. You could customize your rank, ranking systems, and whatnot. And uh, this is where you get the um, the points. So people who contribute to to guild, the guild will gain influence points, and these points will unlock specific buffs that uh, you know your guild members will get. So everyone who contributes to the guild, everyone benefits. I really like the system, um, and it lasts you know for how many hours, whatever it says. Um, so you gotta have a lot of people in your guild to gain a lot of influence. And everyone benefits. Um, next up, we have the history history of the guild. Who who logs on? Um, you post message of the day and a few roster who left the guild, who joined the guild, and uh, uh, an upgrade tab, stuff like that. You know, change your what is this? Beta is ending. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was recording this um, pretty late, so yeah. Message of the day, roster, leaves, and stuff like that. 
and who upgraded um, with influence. Um, this is your pretty much your admin uh, section. You create new ranks, um, you know, stuff like that. That's pretty neat. Next up, we have the World vs. World tab. This is where you know you can see all your um, three uh, worlds here and uh, their current progress and stuff like that. You can obviously go to World vs. World by clicking that button right there. Um, you could start joining World vs. World starting at level one, so you can actually level all the way to 80 um, just from level one. So it's pretty neat. Next up we have the game menu, obviously your options, uh, stuff like that. Uh, here we have your you know, stuff, just stuff, alright, damn. <laughs> um, so here you can you know edit whatever you want, here's your graphics options, um, you know, this is, I think, yeah, this max everything right now, this is your audio section. Next up is your control, your binds, and whatnot. All this set, customize anything you want. Um, I actually played with the um, one of those uh, Razer mouse that has like 16 buttons. Here we have the bug reports. You can, uh, you know, submit a ticket, and uh, I'm not. They should include like a in-game ticketing system for GMs and whatnot. Um, as well as you know the bug report or at least have a drop down for like report player for hack spots stuff like that too bad they didn't have it um, here we have your you know party UI it shows up you can invite people doing that or it's just slash invite stuff like that change your weapon skill F1 to use your ultimate and whatnot um, Top right corner is where your uh, main storyline is, and you know your hearts and stuff like that. That's your map section. You could uh, change any size you want on it by dragging it like that. Zoom in. Oh. World map by pressing M. M again to close it. On your world map, you have all the things you need to do, your completions rather, uh, that you need to do, your hearts and find all the waypoints, find all the uh, interested points of interest and obviously skill points and also vistas. Vista I like it a lot because once, I'm gonna save all the vistas later on, if I encounter a vista that I that absolutely cannot get to um, at, at that moment, I'm just gonna skip it because I'm gonna save it for after I hit 80 and there's nothing, absolutely nothing else to do except PvP or whatever. Um, then yeah, but Vista are pretty much to me bonus experience that I could get. Here we have the chat menu. Um, you resize it, create more uh, stuff. The only thing I don't like it is um, I usually want to, it to show what item I looted in chat. Um, but it's not here. I can't see it. Or you know, the e. I usually put exp in chat as well, but they only have one thing, which is the combat. Um, I don't. I didn't like it very much. Uh, here, you can resize your map, or not map chat, and you can put up there or down there. You can do the same thing with the map as well. Um, you can either put it up, or I'm struggling here to try to find the point um, to put it up. You so instead of your map being at the bottom right corner, it could be in the top right corner as well. Come on, third times a charm. Go, go. There we go. So, yeah, it's gonna be either way, and uh, I think it's best. Well, I do hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, favorite it, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot, and have a good day.